President Bush, Scooter Libby, and Republicans. Should President George W. Bush have commuted the sentence of Lewis Scooter Libby? That's the question we asked the American public, but pay attention to the alternatives we gave Americans in the survey. One, was the president right to have commuted the sentence? Two, should he have gone further and pardon Libby, as some have argued, or should he have stayed out altogether? Here's the data. Bottom line, overwhelmingly, Americans say that the president should have stayed out of the matter altogether and let Scooter Libby go off to jail. In fact, only 13% said he did the right thing, and a very, very small 6% said he should have gone further and pardoned Scooter Libby. Of course, some of the discussion having to do with the commutation of Libby's sentence revolves around Republicans. The argument's been made that since the president has lost essentially the support of Democrats in the country today, he was playing to his conservative base. With that in mind, let's look at how Republicans responded to this question, and the data show President Bush really didn't hit a home run, even with Republicans. Now, a higher number, about one out of four Republicans, say he did the right thing to commute the sentence, but that's by no means a majority. Some people have said a lot of Republicans say that Scooter Libby should have been pardoned altogether, but that's only 10%. You've got a majority of Republicans who either say that Bush should have stayed out of it or don't have an opinion one way or the other. A little over half of Americans are paying close attention to this matter. Of interest to us was the fact, as you see in front of you, Republicans really no more likely to be paying attention than independents or Democrats. One last question, we asked Republicans and independents who leaned to the Republican Party if as a result of Bush's actions, commuting the sentence of Scooter Libby, they have gained confidence in George W. Bush, lost confidence, or really hadn't affected them either way. Overwhelmingly, Republicans say it really had no impact on their view of Bush altogether. Only 9% say that they gained confidence in Bush as a result of what he did. More than that, say they lost confidence in George W. Bush. Bottom line out of all of this, it appears to us as if President Bush did not strengthen his standing among Republicans as a result of what he did relating to Scooter Libby. That's borne out, of course, in the latest job approval numbers for the president, which show 29%, no gain among Republicans, and overall the lowest rating of his administration. Join us tomorrow on The Daily Briefing. We'll be looking at where the election stands at this point in time and the question of whether Michael Bloomberg could make a difference. I'm Dr. Frank Newport, Editor-in-Chief of the Gallup Poll with Democracy on Demand.